Alright, so now you have registered on Turnitin and you're ready to start using the program. So once you've done your assignment and you're absolutely sure that you've done all that you need, uh, need to in order to not be guilty of plagiarism, you can save your assignment in any location, just as per usual, and then open up the Turnitin homepage. Now you can access the homepage from the email that Turnitin sent you, as explained in the previous podcast, or simply by typing in www.turnitin.com into your browser window, and it will take you to the homepage of the program. Now you will not need to repeat the registration steps as we talked about in the previous podcast from your second login onwards. You will simply need to enter your email address and your newly created password in the upper right hand corner of the page. And once you click on the sign in button, you will be taken directly to UNISA's communication science page. Now, as stated before, where your module is accepting submissions, the Submit button will be in blue and active on Turnitin. And clicking on an Active Submit button, just make sure you're working with the correct module, will take you to the submission process, which consists of three steps. Here is step one now. Always select a single file up upload. It's recommended rather than copying and pasting. Make sure that your information here is correct and give your submission a title, for example, the theme of your, your assignment. Okay. Note the requirements for the upload over here. And once you are ready, click on Browse to look for your assignment. This browser window will open up. It's pretty much the same as um, any other browser window. You just look for where you saved your assignment and then click on Open. Once you do, the name of your assignment, the name that you saved it under, should appear over here. Once you've made sure of absolutely everything over here, you can click on Upload. Now, it might take a little while. Bigger um, assignments or bigger documents will take longer but you will be directed to the next step as soon as Turnitin is ready. Okay, so here we have step number two. And step number two starts off with the following page and you should please take note of the aspects, aspects mentioned on this, on this page. And Turnitin states, please review the text of the document and confirm that this is the text you want to submit. This is a good place to just make sure that you've uploaded the correct assignment for the correct module. Further, it states, to submit this document, click on the Submit button. If this is not the document that you want to submit, click on the Return to Upload page link. Extremely large files may take longer to be accepted by the system. Your submission is not complete until you receive a digital receipt. Note, formatting has been removed from the text of this preview and formatting will be included when the submission is finalized. Now, all that this last thing means is when you have a look over here, your formatting will not be the same as in your document, but you shouldn't worry about that too much. The formatting is just removed for the sake of this preview. Okay, so once you're ready and you've made sure that this is the correct assignment for the correct module, you can click on Submit. This temporary um, window will appear and it will take less than four, two minutes for your assignment to be submitted to turn it in. And once it is submitted, you will see this first piece of proof. Now, as I mentioned, there's two sets of proof and the first one is this page. It has the first page of your submission and it says over here that your submission was successful. The second piece of proof is an email that will be sent to your My Life account. Okay. So just make sure that you did receive this email and store it for future reference. Now, interpreting the report is where all of the fun happens, and we will deal with it in a separate podcast next. Just as a side note quickly, if you are on this page and you want to go back to the student page, you click on Go to Portfolio.